guys welcome back to our channel fly high balloons creations if you are new to this channel we are glad to have you here and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet my name is deborah in today's video i'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to attach balloon clusters in four easy ways so let's get started for this project i will be using my electrical balloon pump Sempatex brand balloons in orange, black, and purple, and 18 inches, 11 inches, and 5 inches. I also will be using these 260Q balloons that are mostly used to create balloon animals with. I first will begin by inflating seven 11 inch balloons and one 18 inch balloons, creating clusters. And I will repeat the process until I have created five clusters of a set of eight balloons. I am pressing down on the balloon and slowly releasing the air and tying it off. I will then inflate three more balloons and tie them into pairs, bringing them together, crossing and twisting them together, creating a cluster of four balloons. Charging forward when I open my mouth, though I may not know how I know I was born to sing. Travel the world, hey baby girls, bury my best friend. I'm manifesting, but not concerned. Cause whatever happens, I'm good. I am repeating the process, just I am tying one 11 inch balloon and one 18 inch balloon together, making a pair. I will take both clusters and bring them together, taking one balloon from each cluster and wrapping them together, creating a cluster of eight balloons. With these black balloons, I will still repeat the same steps to create my clusters. But the only difference is that I won't be tying the necks to the base. I will take two balloons and cross them underneath both of my arms and scratch the necks and tie them together loosely.
picture I could see if I just close my eyes. Have the foresight to believe. Time don't move backwards, it speeds to the future fearlessly. Charging For the 260Q method, take a 260Q balloon and tie it to your first cluster. Then you are going to add a new cluster on top of it, pushing down and wrapping the 260Q around a couple of balloons. And you are going to repeat the steps with the 260Q balloon until your garland is built to your desired length. But for the video demonstration, I am going to tie the 260Q balloon off. For the rubber band method, you tie a 260Q balloon together into a knot, creating a rubber band. You then wrap a rubber band around a few balloons in your first cluster and twist. You then place a new cluster on top and wrap the rubber band around the first quad of four balloons in the cluster, connecting them together. It's 
For the neck to neck method, you take two clusters, bringing them together, finding the scratchiest neck in both clusters, and tying them together. Last but not least, the wrap method. Take a cluster and place it on top of another cluster, taking one balloon from each cluster and wrapping them together, connecting your cluster. I like to give a special shout out to Balloons to Business for making my life so much easier with using this method. Guys, please forgive me for patting on the balloons like I'm counting them or something. I just be super nervous and excited at the same time creating these videos for you guys. Congratulations, you have learned how to attach balloon clusters in four different ways to create stunning balloon decorations. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIY decorations ideas. Guys, let me know down in the comment, do you use any one of these methods to attach your balloon clusters? And also let me know if you have any questions. As always, thanks so much for watching. You guys stay blessed and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Picture I could see if I just close my eyes, have the foresight to believe.